Hi and welcome back to Just Cook. So today carrying on with our budget lockdown recipes. Um, I thought today we'd do a, a, a sweet dessert <clears throat> and I'm going to make uh, show you how to make uh, um, pavlova. So I'm going to do these individual um, just to make it a bit more fun for the kids to decorate and, 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 and do some different toppings. Uh, the traditional sort of fruit toppings and then um, uh, we'll do a couple of other things as well. So I've got uh, here my egg whites, I've got four egg whites, I've got 250 grams of uh, caster sugar, we're going to put a tablespoon of white wine vinegar in, so I've got that here, a tablespoon of vanilla essence and a tablespoon of corn flour. So we're going to start <coughs> excuse me, first by whisking up the egg whites uh, uh, to a nice stiff peak, then we're going to slowly add the sugar in, a spoon at a time, uh, <coughs> and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients at the end. Then one of the other things that I've done is I've marked out trays. So if you want to do one big one, then, then I think it's good just to draw it out. I don't know if you can see those lines there on the tray, but I've got pencil uh, drawings and prep them up uh, ahead of time so that we've got them ready when we want to pipe them out. It just means that I've got a, a sort of a stencil outline to go to to get them nice and even on the uh, sizes, as it were. So let's start by whisking up the egg whites. I've got an electric blender, you need an electric uh, whisk for this. It'll be quite quite difficult to do it by hand, but I'm gonna start this off by blending, whisking these up to a soft peak. So as you can see, I've whisked these egg whites, taken a couple of minutes, but you can see they're forming nice peaks in the uh, uh, egg white, so I'm going to slowly start adding these uh, a sugar a spoon at a time. the sugar you can see that's become really sort of shiny and glossy and that's well combined now so <clears throat> for the last bit we're gonna add a tablespoon I tell you yeah teaspoon of corn flour teaspoon of vanilla essence just to give it that little bit of nice vanilla flavour and a teaspoon of vinegar this helps just stiffen those egg whites and keep them nicely combined and then we're just going to give that one last whisk <laughs> Okay, so once you've got the other can get in, just take that, empty that off, and then we're going to put this onto the trays now and get them in the oven. Okay, <clears throat> so I've got my tray, I've got my meringue, I'm going to use the piping bag. But you can just spoon it on. Um, I just prefer to do it this way. Just uh, a little bit more control. One tip as well um, with the meringues is, is that uh, when you're doing the paper on uh, the base of the tray, just put a little bit of oil on it underneath just to make sure it sticks down nicely. Um, otherwise, when you're doing this, it can just pop up and not be so easy to... Uh, do because it keeps uh, lifting so it just sticks it to the tray nicely so let's just oh, okay and I'll fill, so I'll fill this tray I've got another tray there and then we'll pop them in the oven okay so I've got these all piped out now individually um, as I say you can do one big one uh, but I want to do some different decorations with this 
Uh, we're going to pop these in the oven. The oven's on very low. It's gas mark two, around about between 130 and 150. They're going to go in for an hour, and then you turn the oven off, and you leave them until they're completely cool in the oven. Because you want to get a little bit of a crispy outside, but a nice chewy center inside, so you can't bake them uh, uh, very hot. So it needs a bit of time. So one hour in the oven, turn the oven off, uh, uh, 130 to 150 degrees centigrade, gas mark two, very low. And then we'll see them when they come out. Okay, so the pavlovas have come out of the oven. They've uh, cooled down. They're nice and che uh, chewy in the center, nice and soft in the center. Got a little bit of color on these. The oven was just slightly too hot. My oven's running quite hot at the moment, it seems. Uh, and what I've done is I've got some whipped cream. So I've whipped that up. It takes a couple of minutes. I've got some tin pineapple, tin peaches, but also fresh raspberries. I've got some crushed Maltesers in a bowl. And I've got some little fudge bits. And really, the kids can just have fun. You want fresh fruit, tin fruit, it doesn't really matter. It's just a matter of making them up and just uh, having a bit of fun and putting what toppings that you really like on them. So I'm going to show you just a couple now. I've done, done some there just to show you them finished. And then I'm going to... I'm just spooning a bit of cream. It's not completely piping stiff, but enough just to be able to put it onto the meringues. Onto the pavlova, sorry. Just spread that around nice. This lovely little dessert for the kids to have. I've got, uh, um, I'll do another raspberry one. Finish these raspberries up like so. I've got sprinkles as well. You know, you could use, I've got a little bit of fudge pieces I can put on there. You can mix it with fresh fruit and a little bit of fudge just to cut that into it. Um, and then I can put a couple of bits of pineapple just to mix it up a little bit. And then I've actually got a lot of mint growing in my garden. So it's nice just to have a little bit of fresh herb on there, especially with the raspberries and that, just to make it a little bit chefy, you know. Just to put those colours there if you want to do a nice presentation, if you're doing it for your pudding. It's up to you, you put what you want on there. But uh, as you can see, they look really tasty, they're really cheap to make. And uh, you can have a bit of fun with the kids, just decorating and making these up. So have fun with them, I hope you enjoy them. Take care, stay safe.